Hi, my name is Casey Donnelly and I'm the Communications and Safe Sport Coordinator for Bulls Canada. I invite you to join me as I get to know Canada's national squad members through a virtual chat. In this first interview with a national team member, I get the chance to chat with senior squad member Cameron Lafren. Um, my name is Cameron Lafren. I started at Bulls 20 years ago and through family is kind of how I got into it and how I've stayed into it really. Okay, cool. Um, so that was actually my first real question is how did you first get into bulls? So do you want to expand a little on that? Uh, <laughs> uh, my my grandmother started us when we were really young. I think I was six. And uh, ever, ever since then, we were dragged to the green with her where she was looking after, after us. And, and she pretty much drug me to the green every time she could. So, And I, I went willingly. So <laughs> That's awesome. So you liked it from the beginning? That I remember, yeah. I don't remember the first couple of years of it, apparently. But <laughs> And where are you from? Like, where did you start? Uh, my first club was Bedford, Nova Scotia. Okay, cool. And do you remember if you were a natural when you first started, or if you kind of got better oh. over time? <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember starting. She tells me stories all the time. So why do you like the sport? Uh, I, I like the competitive atmosphere of it. And, I mean, the people have always been great too. Being able to play with, with my family, with, with my grandmother, my sister, and my grandfather, I mean, that was always fun too. Yeah, that's cool. And are you pretty close with any other members of the team? Uh, we all talk a, f a fair amount. Uh, I'm no closer to one of them than the other one. I guess Jackie on the women's side because we train together. But okay. Other than that, really. And what do you uh, currently do for work? I work as a survey technician for a land surveying company. Okay, so what does that mean? Uh, I pretty much survey people's property boundaries and cut lines to the woods. Nice. How long have you been doing that for? Six or seven years now. Nice. That's awesome. Do you have a favorite Bulls memory? Uh, playing for the Bronze Medal and Commonwealth Games. That, that was neat. Okay, yeah. It might be a once in a lifetime opportunity and having all the cameras around and the grandstands. And how did you do at that time? Oh, we played okay, but we lost. Okay. <laughs> do you play any other sports? No. Okay. I used to play soccer and basketball. But... In like high school or after that? Uh, high school. Okay, nice. What are your goals for your Bulls development? Uh, just to continue to get better and, and be a better leader for the team. As, as a skip of the team, I, I'm supposed to be the leader, and I, I don't lead much. But Okay. Uh, I don't know, continue to, as a team, we're progressing. We continue progressing as a team on a, on a medal at World Events. Okay, cool. Has being involved with high-level bulls impacted any other parts of your life or developed you in other ways? Yeah, I no longer have money. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it, it takes a lot of time I, I do like I mean I, I got to travel an hour just to get to a bowling game oh really but, yeah other than that no not really I mean I, I get I, I travel more with it than what I would ever travel if I wasn't bowling okay it, it, it's opened those doors but no not, not really and what about like the whole leadership aspect like has it pushed you to kind of get out of your shell and how has it made you a better leader? Yeah, well, four years ago, I never would be on this call. I okay. would just ignore you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, they brought me under my shell a bit. I talked a little bit more than what I used to because I never used to talk to anyone on the game. So. Okay, yeah. Well, that's awesome. You've been on the team for several years now. How has it changed since you first got involved? Uh, there's a lot more structure. I mean, we, we know who the coach is. We do a lot more reporting than what we ever used to. And uh, there's good feedback now. Before, we would report and never hear anything back. But now that Terry and Dale have taken coaching roles, we actually get feedback, and they send us things to, to do. Okay. Um, when did you actually first start on the national team? 2016, I was development team, but I went to World Bowls that year. Okay. So. Have you seen any positive changes at your club or province since you started? Yeah, we well, my club just five years ago had 12 members. We're up to almost 200 now. Oh, so wow. Been, 
great membership increase and there's been a lot more people out playing and a lot there's been more people in the past recent years getting into competitive bowling a little bit more at the national level and trying trying to play provincials and stuff like that. So is your club open since COVID? Slightly. Uh, we can only play twice a week and modified games. But. Okay. So it hasn't been too tough to like find scheduled time slots? No. my uh, Actually, when it was all going through, I know the president quite well. He was making sure that me and Jackie had times that would work for us. So. Okay, that's good. If you could tell younger you a piece of Bulls advice, what would it be? <laughs> that's a tricky one. Uh, I, I guess listen to what other people said more. I mean, growing up, I, I was good, but if I had a lesson, I probably could have won a couple more games. Fair enough. Used to, used to drive everything, even when people told me not to, and that just made me want to drive it more, so... <laughs> <laughs> Um, so apparently you're a left-handed bowler. Does that uh, offer you any advantages or disadvantages? I don't notice it, but uh, I do notice people try to follow my line more, and, and and they can't. They don't realize why, and they just struggle with it all game. But I'm so used to not watching what other people do that I, I don't mind it at all. Okay. So other people have noticed a difference? or? Yeah. Like, I, there's guys on the team that, like, they would ask me for my line, and it's like, I... I really can't tell you because I'm left-handed, you're right-handed. But and it, that was that way growing up through nationals too. It was like the team would talk about where they're taking for boundary lines and stuff like that. Hmm, interesting. I got so used to not paying attention to what people did that it didn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. That's all my questions. You're good to go. Thank you so much for chatting. No problem. Good luck with the rest of them. <laughs>